Hello, today I'm here to teach you how to make macaroni and cheese. Actually, not really. We'll be talking about these hot pot holders, which normally have a hot pot on them, but they're actually the perfect size to use with the electric eel wheel. So why would you want to use one of these pots under hot pot holders underneath the electric eel wheel? Well, one of the reasons is it makes it a little bit quieter. So that's sort of a nice side effect. But the real reason we started looking into these is a lot of people had concerns about um, when you're spinning and you're pulling on your yarn here really hard, um, maybe the wheel is going to vibrate a little and sort of move along the surface. And that's not actually a problem for me because the electric eel wheel is so well balanced and uh, we put these four little rubber feet on there. Um, but it is super lightweight and I understand the concern and maybe on surf certain surfaces you would have that kind of a problem. And if you do have that kind of a problem, uh, this kind of a mat would totally and completely solve the problem because um, you can see it has a little bit of give but it really sticks to this mat. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere and it's, it's kind of, you know, just going to insulate away any vibrations. So uh, I think it's a a really good solution if you're worried about your, your wheel vibrating um, and, and sort of moving around a little bit while you're spinning. Maybe you're a really hard puller or you've got you know really slick surfaces you want to knit on. Uh, so definitely uh, check these out. I'll put a link to them in the uh, notes. Uh, you can also get a bunch of different colors. So um, I got these all on Amazon so that's where the link will be too. But, uh, uh, they seem pretty popular. I'm sure you can get them other places. So, you know, go check it out and, you know, let, let me know what kind of uh, mats you, you're interested in using with your wheels or which ones work well. Thanks for watching.